This is a review on the Acaso EK7000 action camera. It's a budget action camera. It's about 60 bucks and it comes with a bunch of uh, goodies on it. This one is 4K uh, and 1080 at 60 frames, so that's nice. So a little bit about the camera. This is the box it comes with, pretty standard. It's got a bunch of mounts on it. See, it comes, this one came with a nice little remote. That's pretty cool. You can press the, the button and record and take pictures. These are the specs on it. So it does have Wi-Fi. Uh, it's got a wide angle lens. It's got the remote on this one, which is kind of cool. Uh, it does have a, a micro SD. It's not in there. It's got a lot of mounts on here. This is the only downside. It's not that big a deal. Remember, this is only like 50, 60 bucks. Is it's 4K at 25, not 30. It has 2.7 uh, at 30, so that's cool. And 1080 at 60 and 30, so that's nice. It's got a 12 megapixel camera. The batteries that it comes with are nice. They're 1050 milliamp instead of 900, so that's nice. And just as anything with the waterproof case, it goes down deep. Uh, goes down deep. <laughs> yes, it does. And wireless and so on. And there's some of the, uh, the stuff it comes with. So there you go. Now let's get to the camera. And here it is. Pretty standard action camera. A Caso there. Got the Wi-Fi, 4K, model number, EK7000. Power button and indicator light. Here's the lens over here. On this side of the camera, got a little uh, focus. There you go. It's got a up and down button, and right here is a little speaker, so that's kind of nice. Here's the back with the screen. Obviously, the camera is off right now. Remote right there. Action camera, because you thought this was a refrigerator or something. On this side, right here, micro USB and a micro HDMI, which they don't include, which I assure you, you'll probably never connect this to a TV, but it's possible. And you got your SD card, which I think this is capable to 32 gigabytes, and that's what I got on it. So there you go, that's your little camera. There it is, so let's uh, power button. Let's turn it on. And there it goes, it says Casso, and let me uh, focus that a little bit. Alright, I, I think we're good. So here's the camera, I already have it set up at the 1080, but it shows, I don't think I have anything on this card, so it shows that basically at 1080, at 60 frames, you're going to have 2 hours and 22 minutes, give or take, which, yeah, that's a lot of video. I doubt you could get that much, but that's what they're saying. Um, let's see if the little indicator light's on. Oh, yep, right there. Since it's not blinking, since it's just red, it is just on. It's just saying it's on. When it's recording, it's blinking. And there's the, uh, take your video or picture button. So, let's go back over here. Now, the power button is also the menu button. So, if we click that. Now we're at... 12 megapixel wide uh, to take a picture. Push it again. And 12 megapixel wide, but I think this is a burst showing from up there. Same wide. I think this is a countdown. And now we're on the setting. So if I press the mode button or power button again, it goes just goes straight to this. So what I do, you go through it. And when you're on that thing, you press the top button. So here's what everyone likes. All the uh, settings in here. Video resolution, burst, time lapse, all this crap with most all the cameras, which is very nice. So video resolution, which is the most important, obviously. So it shows here 1080 at 60, 1080 at 30, and by the way, this is what the up and down buttons are for, obviously. 4K at 25, 27 at 30, and 720 at 120. 
Now again, this was like $60. This is pretty cool for 60 bucks. Just saying. This is an action camera. So by action, that is fast paced. So use the highest frame rate possible. And that's on that. At 60 frames. So let's go back up to the top here, which I can't figure out how to get back to. No, oh, so you just press the uh, mode button again. Uh, looping video, let's see what that does uh, on or off. So uh, I haven't touched it, so I'm gonna leave it on. Uh, off. Timestamp, it's date and time, date or off. This is pretty cool. I leave it on and I set the date and time. So at the bottom right hand of the screen, when it plays a video, which I'll show you, it just shows the date and time. It's pretty cool. Some people don't like it, I like it. Exposure, uh, negative seven, positive, whatever. Um, I keep it at zero because I don't know what the hell that means. So let's go down photo resolution and 12, 8, 5, 4, and that's all you can pick. So leave it at 12 because there you go. Burst photo, see what that does. On and three photos. So that was one of the modes that we picked. But I assume if I click it, no, nothing happens. So uh, I. Can't turn it on or off. All right, so it's on. Time lapse. Let's click into that. Two, three, five, ten, twenty, thirty, and sixty. Cool. Um, great. That's that. Continuous lapse. See, on or off. Uh, don't know what that means either. So I'm gonna leave it off. Power frequency. Click on this. Fifty, sixty, or auto. Uh, it it defaults at fifty. So I'm gonna leave it at 50. If you think I should change it, let me know. I don't really care, it works just fine. Language, let's see what you got. You got English, you got kindergarten right there. Uh, they misspelled Italian, Italian, I think. They put an O at the end. Uh, Spanish is also spelled wrong. Man, you got Portuguese, the Deutsch, and then the Dutch, because the Deutsch and the Dutch I want to get those mixed up. We have Francis over here. Sestina, Pulaski, Turkey. Fine. Oh, it's Russian. Oh, cool. Russian. Oh, yeah. Uh, Japanese. Korean. So there you go. The only reason I don't know which one this is because it doesn't say uh, G JP or uh, KR next to it. So that's obviously, most likely that's kindergarten stuff. So uh, let's go back. Uh, let, let's keep. Yep, we're on English. All right, good. I can understand that. Date and time: five fourteen sixteen two fifty. Uh, that's not right. <laughs> so I gotta change that. So uh, yeah, there you go on that one. Let's go back. Sound indicator: shutter on and off. Well, that's nice. So I guess when you take a picture, it does that. Start up on, I like it on the beep. The beep's nice, I like it. Oh, volume, look, you can change it. I didn't know that. Volume at zero, one, two, three. Zero, one, two, three. Maybe at three, I like it. So that's kind of nice. See what we got here. Upside down, that is actually pretty cool. I have used it. You can turn it on and off, and upside down means obviously when it's upside down, it's right side up. And if you don't believe me, let's see here. Oh! Would you look at that? <laughs> Wait, what are here? They printed wrong? Nah, I'm just kidding. It's upside down. Okay, that's great. So let's turn it back right side up and click upside down. And uh, there we go. Now, we're, there we go. Screensaver. Let's see what we got here. Off one minute, three minutes, and five minutes. Um, I'm going to leave it off. Why would I need a screensaver on this? I'm not a desktop. Power saver. Let's see what we got here. Off one, three, and five. So all this is is just if the if the camera is idle for one, three, or five minutes, it'll just turn off. Uh, format. Let's click that. It knew. Don't format it, even though there's nothing on here. There's reset, which uh, if I click, it's going to say yes or no. No, it's fine. I like it. And version. You can see this says Action Cam H9R. Funny story about that, there's actually an action camera called an Ekin H9R. So, a Casso, clearly a Casso, 
What did you do with that? I don't know. Can't click on it, just goes version and then uh, one, two, my license plate number there obviously. Uh, doesn't do anything. So click that and go back. So there's the cool little camera. Let me do a little uh, video with this camera. Obviously I'm not filming with this right now. And I'll put it in and show you how the camera goes around at 1080 and so on. And uh, what the sound quality is like with the case off. Now, here is, just like any other GoPro, or any other action camera that's not a GoPro, this is the case. And this one actually is, I think most of them, they have to be unique to each other, but this one is unique. It, uh, it's got its seal just like everything else. Put it in there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what can I get in there? we go. Oh, yeah. It's on. There you go. So, it's got your buttons, and they actually do work. So if I push it, hey, there it goes. That's pretty cool, actually. Another thing, if you're planning on getting this camera, I bought this a couple months ago. I got the square one. And the reason I say that is because if you search it right now, it's got a round. Why does it have a round? I don't know. I like the square. It looks, uh, looks very nice. How much? How much? It's about 60 bucks. So, that's that. Now let me film a little bit with it. So I, I forgot to inform you that the bottom button here is the Wi-Fi connection thing. So when you click that, you go to the app on your phone, Easy iCam, and you connect it. It's pretty simple, and it's pretty cool. You can change some settings and pictures and all sorts of crap. Let me turn that off. And we forgot, what does it do when you press the top button? Oh, it goes to uh, your videos. And, uh, hey, you can watch them. I know it's a little blurry there. But there you go. Yeah, well, that sounds great. I'm not going to listen to myself, so uh, let me stop that there. Uh, go back. Back button. So, there you go. And I think... Press the buttons. Oh, there I am. And there's that. So, that's pretty cool. Again, I paid 60 bucks for this thing. I could not be happier. It is uh, $60. I didn't pay 400 or whatever for GoPro. So, you have any questions, comments, anything you want me to go over, let me know. And uh, I'll get back to you. Thank you very much.